Shelley Lundquist said, If you are still suffering, it means that you have not yet found the courage to do something differently. Now, no one knows better than me what it's like to not have choices. And so I absolutely get that. But I, so I'm not going to say that everybody out there always has choices. Okay, that's not what I mean with this. But I am talking to you if you are at that point where maybe you, I don't know, I don't know where you're at, but you just want to cross over the line through some of your walls. And I think that if we are really honest with ourselves, and I'm talking about myself, it's not that there aren't any choices. It's that we're not willing for the choices that they are, that there are. They all suck. Or we're not, um, or afraid of the choices, or um, we don't, yeah, we don't have the courage. Because usually whatever life we're living is to get out of the place where we're living is going to take courage because it's a different kind of life. It's a different way of thinking. It's a different way of feeling. It's completely unfamiliar. We may not have seen ourselves that way. Like, I couldn't do that. Other people can do that. I can't do that. Or that's going to take a lot of work. But that's not a can't. That's a won't. And again, I'm not saying everybody. I'm not saying all the time. But I'm just offering this for those of you who might like to find a little bit of that courage and like to find that little bit of honesty. All the walls that there are are subject to some courage. You get to say what your choices are. Now this also applies to looking out at the larger world. If there are things that you're afraid of, if there are things like you, the economy that you feel like you're bound by, or international affairs that you feel like you're bound by, or certain groups of people that you think you need to be frightened of, or anything like that, anything that you think is out of your control, and there, there are plenty of things out of our control, but there's something you can, there's things that you can do with yourself. If you don't have peace, you can go serve someone, go love someone, go do something small, go just stand outside your door. If you just if you're home all the day and you don't know what you're gonna do, just do something teeny tiny. Just go stand outside the door and watch the people go by. Do something different. And again, I'm talking to myself. I'm not saying it at you because I still haven't got the hang of this. But every time I feel like there is a wall in my life, I have to be honest with myself. Jen, what aren't you seeing? What aren't you willing to see? What aren't you willing to work on? What don't you have the courage for? And there's another saying, and I wish I could remember who said it, but there's, so I didn't make this one up either, but there's a th feeling sometimes we have that I'm going to suffer until you change. I'm going to suffer until we have a new president, or I'm going to suffer until um, I get a different job, or I'm going to suffer until my husband does the things that I, my list for my husband or something. Um, and that is placing the, the locus of what kind of experience you can have on the outside with other people. And that's, that's your choice. If you, that's where you put the locus of your inner peace, then that's what you did. You, you're waiting for your husband to change before you can be free. And that, when you say it out loud like that, it's a little ridiculous. We get to free ourselves. We get to bless ourselves. We get to find the inner peace. And yes, and if you say, well, that, uh, you know, I'd have to become a Buddhist monk or something. Well, why not? Do it. No one's stopping you. Well, I don't want to do that. Okay. All right. Don't do it. Don't be a Buddhist monk. But it might help. You know what I mean? It's something you won't do. It's not something you can't do. Again, talking to myself. So 
don't be, um, like I said, if, if you really feel, I know what it's like to suffer endlessly with, with no end in sight of, and no help and no knowing what to do and whatever. So I've been there. So I know that, but hopefully this message will be for the people who, who needs to be, who just need to hear that honesty of like, I need to bring the choices back to me and I need to live in the world I want to live in and I need to have courage for that. Whatever that is, it's not in someone else's hands, it's in our hands.